Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today we are talking about the subject of powering your astronomy equipment. In this video I am going to touch on all the different ways that you can power your astronomy equipment but I am actually doing a review of the XSTAR AA batteries so if you're not an astronomy nerd like me do stick around this video is going to be very very valid for you as well. Alrighty guys so powering your astronomy equipment how can you do it? Uh, well a couple of different ways. Uh, so I'll start uh, with the way that I typically do it which is with one of these guys right over here. Uh, so this is a goal zero um, battery right so lithium ion um so it does have usb plugs to where you can plug in you know that type of deal typically with my telescope stuff i do typically use um a 12 volt you know cigarette lighter you know a lot so it does that you could also do ac these things are you know fairly lightweight uh, so this is the 500x the yeti 500x this thing will power your scope easily even with dew heaters and that type of deal going for one night uh, they do make these in the you know several different sizes i'll have some links for these i've been using yetis for a while I love them. I mean, they're kind of my one of the more expensive ones, but they do work great. Okay, so, uh, you know, this one, it's definitely a very solid way. <clears throat> now, obviously, so if you're, you know, like at home, right, you can, you know, plug uh, most scopes in directly, you know, with, to, with AC, just to your, you know, you know, like wall outlet. So that's obviously another way to do it. Uh, so, you know, in this review, like I said, I am focusing on testing out some lithium ion batteries. Uh, Extra actually, you know, contacted me and they're like, hey, do you want to test these out for us? And I was like, sure, you know, because uh, I do use uh, AA batteries in particular a lot. I mean, a lot of astronomy equipment like telescopes, they will take AA's. Um, also, you know, I use them uh, and that's kind of what I'm conducting the test with is my lighting is actually powered by AA batteries in my observatory. So uh, actually, let's, you know, hop into that and we'll start the test on these guys to see how they stack up against regular AA alkaline batteries. Alrighty guys, on to the testing. So, as you can see, I have a freshly charged set of the x tires right here uh, they were charged with the charger that was provided with these things uh, so as you can see hopefully on this battery here the capacity on these is 41 50 milliwatt hours okay and then so my comparison set is going to be just regular AA energizer and these are supposed to be the max batteries i have no idea if they actually last longer than you know normal batteries but they claim that they last up to you know 50 percent longer so i figure you know these would be a pretty good contender you know it's a pretty good you know premium battery to compare to these lithium ion batteries now how am i going to do the comparison test guys you know running these in the telescope would be like nearly impossible to get a fair comparison so what i did is i have these lights out of my observatory okay uh, led lights they take uh, six AA standard batteries. So as you can see, these are uh, old batteries that have, you know, well, they're practically dead, you know. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load one of these up with the X-Stars with the lithium ion batteries, the other one with the Energizer uh, Max batteries. I'm gonna turn them on, let them run, and see how long they last for all right guys check this out so new batteries loaded up uh ready to rock and roll uh, but i'll probably post you know some updates for you as we go um so yeah so i'm turning on this one and let's see if on camera we'll be able to see if there's any difference in brightness you know between the two Okay, yeah, so visually, uh, they look about equally bright. I wouldn't say that one's brighter than the other one. And on camera, I think that's the case as well. So anyway, I'll let this thing run, guys. Uh, so just for reference, uh, it is 11.52 a.m. on October 14th right now. So basically, you know, like noon is when I started the test roughly on October 14th. So... We'll catch back up with you guys and uh, check out how these are doing. I'm kind of curious to see if uh, the lithium mines will actually last longer than these premium, you know, just regular double A's disposables. Alrighty guys, so a quick update for you guys. So it is 9.30 in the morning on October 15th. So a little bit less than 24 hours. Um, just wanted to show you guys the batteries have been on 
all day, all night. Uh, so these are, this side right here is the um, uh, extortion. And just as a reminder, this is the energizers. And overall, guys, um, I'm going to say, um, from what I could see visually, this one does look a little dimmer. So I think the energizers are one and out, but, you know, we'll see. I'll let this run and, you know, kind of... Uh, update you guys you know when i get kind of more of a conclusive results but so far i don't know it's looking like the energizers are doing better i think they might actually last longer all right guys so this is getting crazy it's been 48 hours both of things are still going strong still on Alrighty, guys so one of the lights did finally go out oh my goodness so i'm not exactly sure what time this uh, happened but right now it is 7 52 on thursday october 16th so basically uh the light lasted for about two and a half days <clears throat> so which one went out first that's right guys the x star did actually go out first all right guys so with the test done you know kind of a surprising result i'd say um i expected these to last longer than like alkalines that was just you know there's nothing scientific behind that i just kind of thought that they would uh, but, you know, regardless, though, it doesn't really matter. Let's actually hop on the computer and do a little bit of quick math and see, you know, how these stack up cost-wise, you know, compared to running alkaline batteries and, you know, regular batteries, uh, you know, compared to these rechargeables. Alrighty, guys, so here are the X-Star AA's, uh, the same exact kit that I have. Uh, so the same charger with, you know, eight batteries. 53 bucks on Amazon right now. So uh, pretty reasonable, I'd say. Um, and then, you know, just so while I'm kind of here, I'll kind of scroll through and point out some of the, you know, kind of stats on these. Okay, so um, these uh, have a charge cycle of 1,200 times. So you can recharge these 1,200 times. So that's pretty nice. Uh, they claim about three hours, you know, charge time. Um, honestly, I think that's very accurate. Like, I don't know. I didn't really, like, kind of, I guess, time it. But they did charge, you know, like, in a very, you know, quick... Um, I'm out of time, I'd say. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about uh, lithium batteries, you know, typically is that they are a constant output of, you know, 1.5 volts. So, like, typically regular batteries, you know, they'll kind of, you know, the, the voltage will drop as, you know, they discharge. With these, the, the voltage is constant until they're dead, basically. So, that's really cool. Okay, so how do they compare price-wise to regular alkaline batteries? So, these are the Energizer Maxes that, uh, you know, I tested with. Um, so basically, these guys, you know, for a 24-pack right now on Amazon, uh, they are $18.75. So that comes out to $0.78 cents per battery. Okay, so doing a, a quick math calculation here. That's kind of what's going on right here, guys. So check it out. So if you take, uh, you know, the 53 bucks, which is what the X-Star kit costs, you know, for the eight batteries, you divide it by $0.78. Cents, you get uh, the equivalent, so basically for, for your 53 bucks, you'd be able to buy, you know, like 68 basically uh, Energizer batteries, right? So, is that worth it, you know, to get the rechargeables, you know, compared to like regular Alkaline batteries? In a way, I mean, you guys decide, but overall, I mean, unless you're just changing your batteries very, 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 very infrequently, uh, these guys should easily be worth it for you already guys so as you can see from the math uh if you're running you know like whatever type of equipment you're running whether it's like telescopes lighting flashlights whatever if you're finding that you're replacing your batteries you know on a fairly consistent basis like i do that in my observatory pretty often if you're running a telescope like this like a next star you know eight or six se uh chances are you're probably going to be replacing your batteries like every three nights or so i mean depending on how long you're using it for uh, in that case scenario guys i would say you know with the prices of regular alkaline batteries i mean for 53 bucks i believe is what this retails for right now i mean uh you know considering that uh the uh cycle count on this is 1200 times so you can recharge these you know 1200 times and that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be totally dead that usually means that they're going to be at 80 percent capacity so i mean they'll still work after 1200 you know charge cycles right i mean these you know start to make a lot of sense um the other thing that i think these are pretty cool like let's say if you do have a next star you know similar type of telescope 
is that, you know, even if you do have one of these batteries, right? I mean, this is like an extra thing that you, you know, you need to carry, you know, out. So if you've got like a quick, you know, observing session and that type of deal, I mean, having a set of these in, you know, in your scope just to kind of flip the switch and be good to go is really convenient. <clears throat> so anyhow, uh, overall, uh, uh, batteries perform well. This charger works well. Um, I don't, you know, didn't see any issues with it at all. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.